people who were um, taking video shots of the, the insurrectionists were not arrested. There is no evidence anyone was arrested. Uh, what we have is that the bloody insurrectionists themselves took very gleeful pictures while they were busy smashing the heads of slain police officers and posted them on, on Facebook and other social media outlets. So why, why is it that the government didn't respond to CNN's requests for information on, and I'm sitting here with these emails now, uh, the 19th of August, the 19th of August, the 22nd of August, before this report was aired? You had more than enough time uh, when CNN requested comment and a statement on these allegations, which were put by a number of protesters. So, so let me put this to you. The day after the Ministry of Information and Communication put out a statement saying, and I quote here, that the spreading of incendiary information on social media platforms to destabilize the state could result in 10 to 20 years in prison. That reference, the Cybersecurity and Crime Act of 2021, this additional mention of spreading of incendiary information is not in the act signed in November 2021. You know that, and I know that. What's the reason for the, for the late addition, sir? Okay, first, um, the emails you referenced were not sent to personal addresses. If I had any notification that you wanted to get government side of the story, I would have readily obliged you. I have never dodged an interview, whether locally or internationally. So that was an unfortunate event. But here we are. Okay, well, our own side of the story. I'm sitting on those emails and they've gone to, the uh, they, they, they have gone to uh, statehouse.gov.sl and they have gone to Moth. They've gone to, they've gone to all of the places that we would normally send requests for information. Let me put this to you. Has anyone been arrested under this act since the August the 11th statement was made? Well, like I mentioned, those were not personal email addresses. They were generic, and it could have fallen between the cracks. If we saw it, we would have readily responded and in a very timely mm -hmm. fashion. Uh, like I said, this cyber security and crime bill was benchmarked all against, against some of us, most seminal legislations. Um, you're talking about the, Budap uh, the, 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 the um, Budapest Convention. You're talking about the, um, the AU Malabo Convention and the ECOWAS directives. We also took into consideration local realities, current and local challenges. Um, in the extant legislation, there are also references made to um, the Anti-Money Laundering Act of 2012. So there is nothing extraneous that was dragged, dragged into, this, into this law. Are you just sorry? I, I'm, I'm just slightly confused as to what you're saying here. Are you just are you disputing the additional mention of spreading of incendiary information is not in the act signed in November 2021? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom read, of why it was laws, nice, added in this statement. Laws are read in conjunction with all regulations. I just mentioned the anti-money laundering. So you read laws in conjunction with other existing legislations. What you are doing is the mistake of reading it in isolation, and that's where the trouble starts. Was slide ammunition used during uh, these protests and these arrests on the part well, of the government, saw, on the part um, of authorities? We saw bloody insurrectionists wielding self-loading machine guns, pistols. I'm sure those were not toys. They had live ammunition, and they were meant to shoot anybody who stood in their way. This is the police that you're talking about here. Okay, I was talking about the bloody insurrectionists. Well, when policemen go no, to no, where no. I was talking about the authority. Also, um, because they are people to so survive, to be able to, to, to protect lives and property. So I know they also go to the scene of crime, particularly bloody insurrection like this with loaded, loaded weapons. As to whether they use live ammunition or not, neither deny nor confirm. Sorry, I'm what you said. I, I, it's quite a difficult line, and I want to ensure that our viewers get uh, get a clear uh, answer from you there. So, so, so you're saying that live ammunition was used, or that you 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 do not know whether live ammunition was used by, by well, like authorities? I, well, I can't. But security personnel, when they go to quell 
a bloody insurrection, I will suspect they will carry life ammunition, but I can't confirm or deny. I want to get to the bottom of, um, of, of, of this act. Has anyone been arrested under this act since this August 11th uh, statement was made? So the best of, best of my knowledge, nobody has been convicted under the Cyber Security and Crime Act, even though we see a lot of infractions every day, willingly. But this government is committed to deepening the democratic space, to protecting the fundamental rights and, and, and liberties of Sierra Leoneans, which is why, under his watch, a law, pushing 29 places to become the 46th most liberal in terms of free speech, we have, under the same dispensation, been able Sir, I'm so sorry. Um, it, it, it's so important that we get your full answer, but the, the technology is letting us down on this, um, unfortunately. Uh, um, your connection is going in and out. Let me, tr let me try one other question to you and see if I can get a, a, a full answer from you. Several of those who participated or witnessed the protest told CNN they feared persecution for uploading any videos of the protests to social media, particularly those showing incidents of police violence due to the announcement um, of this act. What was the ministry's intention behind putting out this statement? What, what, what... what information would be classified as incendiary? Becky, um, in 20... 17, the total number of Sierra Leoneans on social, social media is about 400,000. Today, mm. we have 3 million, million as this year. This is as a result of the enabling legislation and our respect for fundamental freedoms and rights. A lot more people trust relating on social media now than they ever did at any point in time. That's the point. Uh, that, that wasn't the question, though. So I, I, I was asking reason. what information would be classified as incendiary? Well, um, if, um, if, for example, you call on fellow citizens to take over state house, to burn prisons, to burn people alive in their cars, and we have, in recent times, have several such incendiary remarks. Yes, those are the kind that are categorized as incendiary uh, threats, yes. But you're saying that nobody has been arrested under... Uh, under this act since August the 11th, uh, when the statement was made? No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. So since this incident, nobody has been arrested for that, to the best of my knowledge. I know there was a previous arrest, but that person was acquitted and discharged for once of evidence. So that is to tell you, uh, we respect the rule of law, we respect due process, and we respect the, fund the fundamental rights and liberties of everyone. Mm. Right. Let, let, let's thing. just and continue this because I, wanted, I want to drill down and, and I thank you for your, for your time here um, and I hope that your um, connection will hold up because it is important that we get your full, full answers out and give you the opportunity to respond. CNN has received testimony and video evidence um, from several protesters and bystanders that show unarmed civilians um, being hit um, by authorities um, can you can you verify that that indeed was going on um, I haven't seen evidence of that of that what I can attest to is the fact that I have seen police of police officers duty slain by by protesters and with stones they never had the opportunity of going back mm. Bye bye today. We had to accord them due civic barrier ceremonies on Tuesday this week. And finally, several protesters also told CNN that the government had tracked down those who did post content only and detained them. So, what's your response to that allegation? Well, I'm not aware of any such case. In any case, if it has been arrest, arrested, Battle, including 28 children who were bust from.
Kamakwe, Bintao, those children, children who were in poor hands have now been handed over to the appropriate child rights agencies led by the Ministry of Social Welfare. I am told they are currently receiving psychosocial care and they are in safe homes 